top of the morning to you. Hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining me today. If you got your two inch brush and like to paint along, let's rock out with the brush out. Come on with me. Okay, I thought today we'd start out with a little bit of my cobalt blue. I'm gonna have the colors running down below. And we'll start out right here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of these crisscrosses. There you go. I got 16 by 20 inch canvas. Went ahead and put some white medium all the way to about right there and then this is dry. And I thought today we would just do uh, some, some mountains and maybe a little mountain range and just have fun. There you go. And I'm gonna tap into a little bit, a little bit more of my blue here. A little bit more of that blue. Just gonna put it all up into this one little corner here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a filbert brush and I'm just gonna tap into a little bit, a little bit of my black, I'm using Mars Black. And I'm just gonna come over here and just gonna start making these little, I'm just making these little swirls. That's all I'm doing, just swirling around, getting some movement and action into the sky here. There we go. Got a little bit more. Remember a little, a lot of time, especially with this black, because it's it's uh, very strong. It will definitely darken up your world. So you want to be a little bit careful with it. But that's it. Just that's all I'm doing. You don't have to worry too much. You can go like this. You can do whatever. We're gonna go ahead and basically blend this out. So you're kind of free with this, which is pretty cool. So just come in and something like that. There you go. I'm saying it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add a little bit of my crimson. Start adding that maybe right here. Start rubbing that up in here. There we go. And a little bit more dark. So this corner right here, there we go. Nice and dark and then start moving that around. There we go, just like that. I'm gonna wipe this off. And I'm just going to go into some of my white. And I'm going to start popping in a little bit of white here. Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe even some right there. And since I have some color on here, I'm just going to start to uh, put something in here like that. Maybe add just a little bit more dark. Maybe a little bit more. Just so it kind of, there we go. There you go. You don't have to do anything special. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna grab a clean two inch brush and I'm just gonna come in here and just start swirling around in circles just to blend it out. That's all I'm doing, just blending. I'm just doing these circles. Just doing circles. Just doing circles and it'll blend all this, all this on out. There we go. I'm gonna put that down. I'll grab that filbert brush and just wipe some of that color I have on there off. And I'll go right back into some of the white. And I'm gonna come in and just find some spots. Maybe something like that. A little bit over here. See, just. It's okay, just have fun with it, just have fun with it. There we go, maybe something like that, maybe. There we go, and I'll put that down, grab that two inch brush that we we're using, and then, there we go, very softly, very, very softly. There we go. Swirl it around, swirl it around. And then very soft, just to get those strokes out. Just to get those strokes out, there you go. With your palette knife, let's go ahead and mix up some color. I'm gonna take a little bit of white here. I'll just put it, I'll just put it right there. A little bit of white and touch of blue. And just a touch Touch of my brown. Should get a nice color. 
maybe, or excuse me, that was black, and then a little, little touch of my burnt umber there. There we go. And so you got a nice color. Let me go ahead and clean that knife and grab my same palette knife here and just grab myself a little, a little roll. And I'm going to come in and start to put in just a little, little mountain off in the distance there. Maybe we'll have it like this. Maybe. Keep it light so it's not a lot of paint. You want this, you want this in the distance. And uh, put that there. Maybe we'll have another one right here. There we go. There we go. And let me clean that knife. I'm gonna grab a clean two inch brush. And we go ahead and just start to pull this out a little bit. There we go. Same thing here, just pull it out. All right. And then I want this way in the distance, so I'm gonna sit here and just push this into the canvas by simply doing these crisscrosses very softly. See how it pushes it right, right into the canvas. Same thing here, when it misty, misty. I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of white. I'll just use the small side of the knife. I'm gonna come in. I'm just gonna rub in Rub in a little bit of what would be a highlight. And then same thing here. There. And then same thing. Too much brush. Real soft. Real soft. Just push that. Push that in there. So there's some oh, little hair. There it is. So there's a little bit of highlight on the mountains, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and use that same palette knife, and we're going to go ahead and mix up another nice color here. So I'm going to do uh, some black and some brown. And I'm going to grab myself a nice roll. I'm going to come in here and do ourselves a nice little, nice little mountain. Come up. Maybe something like that. Remember, scrape, scrape off what you can here. Maybe, perhaps it, just something like that. And then scrape, scrape that off. Clean your knife. I'm gonna grab a clean two inch brush. And I'm just gonna start just pulling, pulling that out. Pull some down like this, just makes your life a little bit easier on your next move. You just come in. There we go. Sorry, I just want this to be a little bit on the misty side, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let me grab my palette knife and uh, grab some white, some brown, and some of my yellow ochre. We'll get ourselves a nice color here. Pull it out flat, and when you use the big side of the knife, you just get yourself a nice roll, and you're going to come, and you touch, you barely touch, barely touch, and you're just going to, there you go, let it, let it bounce, do its own thing. Just let it bounce and do its own thing. There we go. Maybe... There we go, something like that. Maybe we'll come over here. Do the same thing. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and use 
a little bit of just my burnt umber and I'm going to start working working this other side here. There you go. And get some of the get some nice shadowy colors and dark colors up in here. There we go. Put some more in here like so. Yeah, come over here same thing. With a number one round brush, I'm going to go into my white here. And maybe a little bit more of this blue. I want to start putting in some shadowy color here. I'll add a touch of my crimson in there. I want a little bit, a little bit blue, a little bit purple. There we go. And I'm just going to come in and start doing this. So this is going to be your shadow side here. There you go. And we'll start to put in a little bit, a little bit of some shadow snow, I guess. There you go. And maybe right in here. Just gonna rock it back and forth. Here we go. And there we go. All right, let me go ahead and clean that a little bit. I'm just going to go into my white. There you go. And I just want to start to lay in a little bit of snow here. There, something like that. Grab a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of that bluer color to it. Let me add a little bit, just a little bit of uh, my black here. I just want to kind of gray some of this so it's a little bit more shadowy. And I'll come back with a little bit of my straight white. There we go. There you go. So you get different things. You can also use your palette knife. So I'm going to use the small side of the knife and I'll grab, grab some of that white here. And you just come in. And you just start to figure where you think some breaking of the snow would be. There we go. Maybe something like that. Grab a little bit. I'm just going to do some white into this bluish color here. And get some of that. And I'm going to come in. And start to lay in some other color here. There we go. And same thing here. And some straight white. You get different things working. And that's what it's about. Some straight white here. There you go. You just get different details, different textures and stuff, so. There you go. And you can come back with some black. I'll just use the mountain color that we made, and I'll use the big side of the knife and just come in and 
There you go. It brings everything a little bit closer to you. Maybe here as well. And we'll go ahead and pop this off with a little bit of white. I'm gonna go with my filbert brush this time. So you can use all these different brushes so you're not you're not bound, okay? That's the big thing. You're not you're not bound. So I'm gonna come in here. Start to lay in some snow here. There we go. I add a little bit of blue. And I'm just mixing my colors and just having some fun. And just having some fun. You can do all types of stuff. You're not hot pound okay so just just have fun and I'm gonna go right back to my to my knife here and I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that mixture that we made with brown white and ochre and we'll come back and re-highlight a little bit here there we go So you got all different types of types of things going on. You got a, you know, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. And let me get right back into this detail brush here, and I just want a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit, like maybe. There we go. So I'm gonna come in here. Give me a second. Just so wanna grab a uh, grab my two-inch brush. I'm gonna come in here and just very softly, just kind of smooth that out. And come in. There. And I just want a little bit more, a little bit more white. That's a little too thick, I apologize. Let me put that down, grab my detail brush. There you go. do mountains all different ways so don't feel like you're bound and and all that you don't have to just use your palette knife there's all different types of mountains and different types of structures with the mountains so that's all all right so I'm still not happy with the with how this is so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue working on it so I'm gonna use my big knife I'm just gonna grab I guess grab some white on here and just start to yeah see I like that a lot a lot better and I'll do that maybe just same thing over here there and I'm gonna add a little bit of my mountain mountain mixture into here And with the small side of the knife, I'm gonna go ahead and just come up in here and start there. I told you, if you're not happy, just make changes, it's okay. I like that a little bit better. And I'm gonna come in and just grab a little bit more of that highlight color that we had. And I'm just gonna come in here. I'm 
and highlight. Like so. There. Get a little bit of that blue in there. And right here, I apologize, there's a plane going by. And there you go. You clean that knife. Once again, grab that two inch brush. And then I just don't, once again, I don't, I just don't like the way that, there. Get rid of those hard edges. All right. And there you go. Okay, palette knife. We're gonna go ahead and mix up a nice big old pile of paint here because we're gonna basically need it. So I'm gonna get a big old chunk of black, or excuse me, green. Same amount of my black. And same amount of my blue. So green, black, blue, we're gonna get a nice, nice color here. There we go. Let me just clean, clean that off there. All right, yeah, I'm gonna start out right now just with the fan brush. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and just load it up. All right, and we're gonna go ahead here and just start to, there we go, I'm just gonna tap. Load back up and just tap, 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 tap. And basically, just to make life easy, we'll just do a nice little, oh no, nice line like so, okay? So you know where you're going. And just tap, and just tap. And you can do the back side, like so. You can go in this way, whichever you like. Come in up, you can do all types of stuff, so don't feel bound. Don't feel bound. There you go. And same thing here. I'll start over here, make life a little bit easier. There you go. Because I'm on an angle, my trees have an angle. Look at that, look at that, that. Get that nice and dark in there. Get that nice and dark in there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe out a little bit and go into uh, just a straight sap green. Maybe a little bit of my yellow in here. And I'm gonna come in and just start tapping this color in here. Same thing here. There you go. And then maybe just a little bit of straight yellow here or there. There we go. Same thing, tap, tap, tap. Just a little bit here or there. Just a little bit, maybe just a little bit right there. With a filbert brush, I'm gonna go right back in that same dark color that we made. And I'm gonna start scrubbing in. There we go. I'm just gonna to start to scrub this. Now I still have a little bit of medium. Remember I did half medium. This right here is still dry. This up here still has the medium. You can tell because how light the color is. But we'll just come in like this. 
There we go. And I'm gonna grab some of my black here. And just start working this in here. This is what Bob Ross tells you where if you don't have the medium, it's Agony City because you have to scrub. Your paint does not slide as you can tell. So you have to, you gotta scrub it in there. Gotta scrub it in there. Give me a little bit more. Yeah, maybe something like that. There we go. There we go, something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And I'm gonna start using the one inch brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the same same yellow mixture that we've had that has a little bit of that sap green and stuff in into it. I'm gonna come in, load it up both sides and then tap, 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 okay? And I'm gonna come in and just start to, just delay in some of this, whoops. There we go. I don't want to use medium quite yet. So as you can tell, it's not really popping too good off, but I want to kind of keep this on the rougher side here. Here we go. And just tap, tap, tap. Just tap, tap, tap. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna come back into this yellow. I'm gonna add just a touch of the yellow ochre to it. Just a touch. I'm trying to change that flavor a little bit. And there you go. Get a little bit more of that yellow ochre into that yellow. There. And then you can go into a little bit of your white, into the yellow here, and get a couple little, nice little sparkles. There. There you go. So you just got all different types of things working in here. And I'm just gonna take maybe a little bit. Here, let's get a little bit of. Something like so. Maybe over here. And I'll come back, and just tap a little bit. I just want little pockets. You know, things like this give you distance. So you just put them in layer, layer, and it'll help you out, okay? I'm gonna put that down, I'm gonna grab that. Ah, maybe I'll just do the, uh, just use the one inch brush. Let me at least make my line here. I want to kind of line this. There we go. Kind of want a rough line right here, which will separate this from here, okay? You gotta have some kind of separation. Usually with the mountains, we try to put the mist in, okay? Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll have it just come down, something like that. All right, let me put that down. I'm gonna grab the one inch brush and just make my life a little easier. Grab some of your dark paint and just start scrubbing away. Ah, I swear to you, it's actually easier with the filbert. So I'm just gonna use my filbert brush and just come in and start to fill this in here. There you go. 
So this is a different style, you know, this is, I don't know what the actual technique is called. I just call this a hybrid style because you do half wet on wet and half traditional. So it's a hybrid. And this just shows you that you can do different things. By not using the medium, you know, it does help to keep things from being a little bit too wet. And that can be, can be always be an issue especially when you start to highlight, you know, if you have too much of that medium in there, you're gonna have, you're gonna have problems. There we go. There we go. And just scrub it in the best you can. There you go. Same thing, just grab it, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed over the last five minutes. We're just filling this in, scrub a dubbing, scrub and dubbing. There. It is definitely warm. I started painting, I think 645. So it's still quite early in the morning. Birds are still chirping and it is quite humid outside. It has been hot. I thought I was going to get away from the Florida summer, but apparently it followed me. And now I'm going to just go like this to get these last little things. I just want this nice and dark, nice and dark. All right. There you go. Two inch brush. I'm going to go ahead and start highlighting, highlighting this color here. So I'm going to pull. Pull some of this yellow out. Make sure you keep your yellows because we will need them. Still gonna put in a couple of pine trees, I think. You just come in like so and tap. And then we're gonna start to put in the grasses here. There you go. Pull it, tap, and then. There you go. And by keeping this a little bit darker, you can see that there's a little bit of a separation between this and that, okay? That's, that's what I was looking for. Just tap in. I'm gonna go into my yellow ochre. And I'll start tapping that. A little bit more yellow, a little bit more yellow ochre. Yep. There we go, tap, tap, tap. There. There you go. Just like that. Maybe add a touch of green into here. Maybe a touch of blue. A touch of that blue. Let's brighten this a little bit. There you go. Maybe just touch more of that blue in there. There you go. And I have not thinned down this paint. Usually you thin thin the paint down, but I have not have not done so. So you got all this beautiful stuff working here. I'm gonna use the filbert brush. We'll see how it comes out. I may have to go back and just use the uh, palette knife, but I wanna put in like a, I don't know, a little path or something. So I'm gonna start with uh, a little, little bit of my black and some of my burnt umber. So black and burnt umber. And I'm gonna start I don't know, maybe. maybe something like that. There we go. There we go. Maybe maybe some tar, car tracks or something, tire tracks. We'll go with that. Pull this out like so. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that out a little bit. I'm gonna grab some white. I'm gonna go into my burnt umber here. Maybe a touch of that crimson. And I'm gonna start to just 
start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There you go. Same thing here. And same thing here. Back and forth, back and forth. All right, I'm gonna take a clean, clean uh, two inch brush here. Actually, yeah, let me just real softly, just want to, just real soft. And we'll go back over with the highlight colors uh, for the grass and stuff and clean it up a little bit, do that. Let me go ahead into just straight white here. And I'll just come down and I'll just come down let me go ahead and just clean that right quick. Just rub off some of that paint and then back. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. And I'm going to take a clean fan brush. There we go, nice clean one, and just very softly. Same thing, just very softly. Two inch brush again, go right back into our yellow. Same thing, pull it down. Tap, 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 and then we'll start to Add a little bit of stuff into there. There we go. And maybe right there. Just a little bit there to give it a little bit of uh, like it as if the grass has been pushed down to the ground, you know? There we go. There you go. So we got a nice little path going right there. Some colors and some different things. Let me add a little bit of my fan brush to the white here. And I'm just gonna tap in a couple little, there you go, just a couple little flowers right quick. All right, with the number three fan brush, nice and clean. I'm gonna dip into my medium for the first time today. I'm gonna go ahead and get some medium on here. I'm gonna go into into my yellow. I'll just do up both sides since I got medium. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab some of that blue. That might be a little bit too much. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. I want a nice green color, maybe a touch of that dark color in there. Okay, so one side is gonna be nice and light and the other side, dark. If I can get some on there. There you go. Light on one side, dark on the other. And we go ahead and just grab a liner brush real quick. And I'll just put in a little bit of some tree trunks. Something to guide, help you out, help guide. So I'm just going to go into, ah, let's go into the black and it'll make a difference. Just need a guide. Let's figure, I don't know, maybe one good one. Oh, my hands always shake. One good one. Ah, give me a little bit. Right there. And maybe over here, I'll do one. Right there. And then another one. Right there. Probably going to end up covering up that mountain there, but at least we'll have some nice tree trunks. Okay. There we go. So, light on one side, and then the dark on the other, and you're going to come in and just double over. And you're going to touch, keep, touch, touch, and start. I'm going to kind of put a little lift up on it, like so. And then, and that's it.
and I'm, we're going to have to go back and you know reshadow, rehighlight. But you can see it pops everything off at one time. So highlight. Now I'm going to go a little bit darker on the back side. There we go. Now the dark's going to start popping in. And a little bit more. All right, and now let's go ahead and do this side and then we'll go back and do the, all the highlighting. Let me see which side is the light side. I think that's the light side. And then I'm gonna come over here and apologize if my shoulder or neck's in your way. I'm gonna do this one first since it's further back, at least in my mind, and then the same thing. Let me grab some of that dark, it's too light. Come in here. And I'm hitting regular shadow um, pressure on here. Like I'm not, it's not the highlight where you have to be super, super light. I don't, you don't have to do that with the double load, okay? And we, once again, some light and then our dark. And we'll hit this right here, same thing. And then there you go. Remember, you're going to have to reload, so reload, come in, there you go. Let's make this one a little bit on the darker side now. A little bit darker. quick. I'm going to use that liner brush again, dip into a little bit of that paint thinner. I'm going to go into my brown mixture here. Maybe a little bit more white. A little bit more white. And if you hear any static, I apologize. It would be my microphone hitting my shirt. Right, there you go. I put it in that. I'll do the same thing here. There you go. It should have come out, maybe. Oh, I'll just leave it like that and clean that knife. Okay, here comes the fun port. We're gonna go ahead and start to re-highlight here, or actually shadow, mostly shadow it up. So you're gonna do, just do both sides, make your life easier. Start here at the bottom, because it's gonna be real dark, as you can see. And you just go back over. You don't have to go over everything. There you go, and you got a beautiful pine tree. You don't haven't haven't done anything. You don't have to highlight. That's why I like the double load. So once again, a little bit of dark. I'll keep this kind of light back here. There, and then right here. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna go ahead, just clean that right quick. I just wanna add a little bit, give me a second here, just a little bit more of a highlight. I'm gonna add a little bit of my medium. I'm gonna go right into here. Let's pull some down, there you go. And just a little bit, a little, light's coming this way, so just a, just a little, little bit just a little a little bit here there and then same thing over here same thing over here stay on the right side the best that you can okay we'll touch 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 oops there we go same thing same thing 
Sorry, the angle on me is a little off, so. Go ahead and come in, same thing. I'm just going to add just a tad bit more dark. Just a tad bit more dark right here. There. Just under, kind of under the uh, highlighted branches. Like right, right here, it's highlighted. I'm just going to add just a right underneath. See? There we go. There you go. Just a little bit of separation to kind of help things out. It's really a lot easier this way. I know it probably seems a little bit more difficult viewing, but it's it's definitely a lot easier because you just don't have to you don't have to worry about highlighting. It just did everything for you. So that's just pretty much how I'm going to teach it from here on out because it's just that much easier. And I'm going to go ahead now and just have a little bit of fun. I'm going to grab my liner brush, grab a little bit of my paint thinner. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into that same color that we were using. There we go. And then just have a little bit of fun here. There we go. Maybe there we go. It's these extra little things that kind of make things pop out a little bit. You know, maybe you'll have something, something like that. Maybe a couple little things that way. There you go. Just a couple more, a couple more little things here and there. Maybe even this right here kind of pushes stuff back, you know. So it's important. There we go. And grab some white man. I apologize. I, I am in a park, so I have people walking by. So I want to make sure that it's focused for you. I don't want any interruptions for you. Um, so apologize for the constant stopping here. But we're going to fill up the liner brush with some of the white and just a touch of uh, just a touch of blue there. And I just want to get a couple little little things working here and there. Just a couple little things. There we go. There we go. And now I'm probably just overdoing it. Probably should chill out, but I, I just have fun with the liner brush. I do like to use the liner brush. And maybe a couple little things here and there. Let's go into into the just straight Mars black, straight Mars black, and a little bit of paint thinner. And I just want to cut a couple little. There we go. Just a couple little high grasses and little twiggies and. You can do all types of stuff. All types of stuff. Don't feel like you're bound. Let me clean that. Let's go into a little bit of my white here. And we'll get a couple of these little white guys going as well. And there you go. I don't think you can get much better than that. Maybe we'll just put in a nice little birdie or something. Go into my black here. A little bit of that paint thinner. My hand shakes, so hopefully I won't mess this one up. But there, a little something like that. There. 
I always have trouble because my hands shake, as you can see. There you go. And with that, I think we'll call this a finished painting. So let me grab a liner brush and I'm gonna go into my white medium, grab some white, and we'll come right over here. And I will sign this. And remember, if you have some loose paint, it should glide right on over this so you can put your, the most important thing, most important thing is your signature. You know, feel proud, be proud of what you did. Sometimes your paintings aren't the greatest, sometimes they're awesome. Either way, as long as you're having fun, that's what it's about. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's painting. I wanna wish you the best. Take care of yourself and stay safe.